What's up, machine heads? This is Zach Lipscomb. I'm going to be showing you how to do a basic master on a beat in machine standalone mode using Reaper plugins and other plugins I have at my disposal. I'm going to be using the FreeG stereo monitor, the rear EQ, the rear XCOP, and G Clip. Now you can find all of these plugins on the internet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play the beat and we'll get started with the master. I typically listen to the beat for 60 seconds to a minute 30 seconds to find the average RMS level. That's going to come into play when we get to the rear X time. I'm clicking on it to get new values. It seems to be sitting at minus, I say minus 10.5. I usually add a decibel, that, a decibel to that, so let's go to, let's go with a negative 11.5. Okay. Next, now keep that RMS level in mind, a negative 11.5. Next, I have the rear EQ. I usually notch out at 250 hertz because that's where a lot of the mud sits within the beat, as well as 160 because that's where my voice sits at. Um, if I was going to rhyme on the beat, I would do that, notch it out. And you, if anybody else's voice sits at any other level, you would do the same thing. For example, if we had a singer and her voice sits at 148, you do the same thing and notch it out there. I typically don't go below six decibels um, on gain or reduction. Next, we have the Rhea X Comp, which is basically a multi-band compressor. You can add as many bands as you want, which is one of, one of the things I love about it. Okay, we have the first band which has a top frequency of 200 hertz which is going to affect anything below 200 hertz second band same thing it's going to affect anything below a thousand hertz down to 200 then it stops so on and so forth and you remember that rms level 11.5 let's go ahead and add it to each threshold for each band now typically I play around with the thresholds for each um, individual band until I get the best rounded out uh, sound. Um, but for time purposes, just go with, go with 11.5. It'll it'll work well. Now, and let's turn off the auto makeup gain. All that's going to do is just increase the um, the level which was compressed. Okay, let's go ahead and play the beat. You can see each band working individually. You can solo each band to really fine tune anything that you want to hear. Now you can actually go to each band if you wanted to increase the highs a little bit, you could. If you wanted to increase your lows, you could, so on and so forth. You can do anything to each band that you want. Now let's say you have your rear X comp settings the way you like it. Play around a little bit. Okay. Sounds pretty bright now. Now you have your rear X comp settings just the way you like it and your beat's still clipping. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to G clip, turn this on. Voila, no more clipping. What's this, what this does basically is acts as a soft clipper. I don't use the clip function on it because um, I don't like to squash the dynamics of my beat. Um, especially on the, the master output. So what I would usually typically do is add about 20 to 30 percent of softness. You can play with it to your liking, but you turn the soft clip, the G clip on, and then your beat won't clip anymore. You can increase it to whatever volume you like on the output and you pretty much have a beat that's not going to clip and the dynamics are still, still pretty good. And that's about it.